The last talk is Uplift Basic Evaluation and Optimization of Recommenders, presented by Masahiro Sato from Fuji Xerox. Hi, everyone. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the how to evaluate and optimize recommenders to have an impact on user action. This is our drive micro. <coughs> So, first, uh, from introduction. Uh, so, think about the recommender in our supermarket, and uh, banana and beer are recommended to a user. Then, the user purchased the banana and beer. In this case, precision is 100%. Is this recommendation perfect? Now think about the counterfactual scenario. What would happen if these items are not recommended? The user would have purchased banana here anyway. So there's no difference uh, whether these items are recommended or not. Here's another example. Uh, chocolate and beer are recommended to a user. Then the user purchased a chocolate, a banana, and milk. Again, uh, what will happen if these are not recommended? Then, this case, the user will not purchase the chocolate. So, here we see the sales are increased by this recommendation. And we think this recommendation is more effective than the former one. To describe the situation, we introduce the concept of uplift that is defined as an increase of user actions caused by the recommendation. The budget probability with and without recommendation is different, and the uplift can be regarded as an increase of budget probability with recommendation. In this part, uh, we shift from accuracy-based recommendation the uplift-based recommendation. Conventional accuracy-based recommenders try to recommend the item with the highest purchase probability, like banana. We try to recommend items with the highest uplift, like the chocolate. Uh, regarding the uplift, the, we like to note that these two cases, with and without recommendation, cannot be observed together. And this unobservable nature is uh, makes it difficult to evaluate and optimize recommenders. And we overcome this difficulty and uh, propose a first based evaluation and optimization in this work. For that purpose, uh, for, for the evaluation, we use the border inference framework. And for optimization, we derive the method which is analogous to the approach model in a marketing research. So, for the variation, uh, first we, I introduced a notion of potential outcome uh, from the border inference. That this YT is a potential outcome if recommended, and YT is potential outcome if not recommended. From the combination of potential outcome, there could be four possible class item classes. Two uplift, force uplift, two drop, and force drop. Within them, we want to recommend two uplift items, which is the, the increase with the action. However, these that cannot be observed. So, so this is a procedure of uplift liberation. And first we generate a recommendation list. Here we see, is it true uplift circle included in this list, but we cannot see directly this true item. So first check whether these items are purchased or not in offline purchase order. But still, the mixture of course uplift and true uplift. Then we split the list by according to whether these are recommended or not in the offline mode. And finally, we calculate the, the ratio of purchase idea within these two lists. In this case, this is 2 over 5, minus 1 over 5, 1 over 5. 
So this is included the ratio of zero upgrade item in this. Because we can uh, remove the ratio of both upgrade between this list. So we can estimate the ratio of zero upgrade in this procedure. And this procedure is formally expressed as this simpler version of upgrade estimates. Essentially, uh, what we are doing here is uh, taking the difference between average purchase probability with and without recommendation. We also derive the SNPs version of uh, this estimate. And we did this uh, equation. The left term is uh, severe to the previous counterfactual evaluation. So I can say that our try extension to include the possibility of purchase even with that without recommendation. Now uh, go on to the optimization part. Okay, so in, in our, what we can observe in our as a training sample is that it, each item is either recommended or not, and either purchased or not. So that makes these four uh, observable classes, and this each of the, contains some of the latent classes. We see that the, among them, RP and NRNP classes include true average items. So, this RP and NRNP classes should be the good candidate for training positive. And on the other hand, there are RNP and NRP classes are candidates for negative samples. This is analogous to the level of transformation method in upgrade model. Here, uh, we, we further uh, set a higher priority on RP classes more than uh, NRNP classes because the probability of zero upgrade is higher in that class. So, uh, for in the conventional market space, uh, optimization used a uh, purchase item as positive, that is RP and NRP. And the uh, regularized method factorization and B number of ranking is a representative for well, point wise and gear wise optimizations. We extend them by the, this predefined positive samples. And we call uh, our method as ULRMAP and ULBPR. So, uh, about the experiments, uh, we investigated the three research questions that is about the comparison with the existing methods and the property of uh, upgrade optimization and the characteristic of actual recommended items. We use the, the three uh, public data sets, uh, Dan Hardy, Dan Fen, and Dean. Uh, as for RQ Brown, uh, our URL or URDPR for uh, the best for most cases. Here there are uh, DB, uh, orange and blue graphs, uh, URL and URDPR, and light, are light, light orange and blue graphs, uh, RMF and DPR. And the other gray graphs are previous methods targeting uh, for upgrade. As for our future, we investigate the uh, learning curves of each method. Here we see that uh, URLMF and URDPR are much faster than RMF and DPR. So as for RQ3, uh, this table shows the awful recommended items in each method. And numbers in final releases are popularity ranks. So RMF tends to recommend popular items. And your RMF recommends items for something like impulse purchases, like pasta sauce or heat and salt meals. So uh, as a summary, we propose upgrade-based evaluation and optimization. We demonstrate the upgrade improvement of baseline and we investigate the characteristics of this, this optimization. Future work uh, includes the comparison with online AV experiments and the apply our optimization to other models like here. That's all. Uh, thank you for attention.
some guardrails so that you don't recommend very random items because those would have a higher uplift uh, though the precision might be lower. For example, uh, uh, in your previous slide, like you mentioned, uh, in the type of items recommended, so under, under ULRMF you might have uh, slightly more seemingly random items as recommended, so that might affect customer experience. So have you thought about this? Uh, with, with your question, it's about whether if you compare with other recommendations, is that right? Okay. Uh, actually, I, I've never done that experiment, but uh, so I, I can't say anything to the conclusive terms. But, but still, from the, the this training curve, the, it, it should run something. So I think we uh, our approach to this recommender is to do something different in uh, that. Okay, any more questions? Let's thank our speaker.